Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? This is German Fernandez and I'm going to be showing you guys how to fold this origami crab today. Alright guys, check it out. This is the origami crab we're going to be working on today. So as you see, it's pretty freaking cool. I'm going to be using a bigger sheet of paper today, so it's going to come out a little bigger than this little dude. So, but feel free to use any size you'd like. Today we're going to start off with one square sheet of paper, and I'm using an eight and a half by eight and a half inch. And remember, you could use a smaller sheet of paper, but remember, the smaller you go, the harder it gets. So let's start off by folding this bottom corner towards the top left, and make sure that your bottom edge lines up with the top edge. Okay, so now let's open it back up. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and rotate this piece of paper. And now we're going to fold this bottom left corner towards the top left corner. And make sure that your bottom edge aligns with your top edge. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you aligned it nicely, let's go ahead and crease it. Alright, so now what I want you guys to do is open it back up. And what we want to do is flip over the piece of paper. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Just like that. So now what we want to do is fold this bottom right corner towards the top left. So let's go ahead and do that. And remember guys, take your time and make sure to align these corners nicely. Once you do so, let's go ahead and crease it. Just like that. Okay. So now let's go ahead and open it back up. All right, and now let's grab this left bottom corner and fold it towards the top right. All right, so once you've aligned them, let's go ahead and crease it down. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it back up, just like that. And now I want you guys to flip over the piece of paper and then just press down on it in the middle and it should pop up just like that. Now what I want you guys to do is to bring these two sections together slowly. Once you've done that, we're going to push one flap towards the left and the other one towards the right. So there's two on each side. Once you've done that, make sure to crease it down nicely. Okay, so if yours looks like this, then you're doing an excellent job. So let's move on to the next step. We're going to fold this right corner towards the middle crease making sure that this bottom edge right here lines up with the middle crease. So let's go ahead and do that. Once it's nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna open this part back up. And what we wanna do is we wanna open this flap up and we wanna reverse fold the crease we just created. So we're gonna open it up and push this section down towards the middle just like that okay so once you've done that you want to go ahead and crease it down nicely and exactly what we did here we're gonna go ahead and do it to the three other flaps so go ahead and do that Alright cool, once you're done with that left side, if yours looks like this, then you're doing a good job. So now what I want you guys to do is go ahead and flip this over. Just like that. So now we're going to do the same exact thing to this, this side. So let's start off with the right flap and then we'll move on to the left. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed or not, but uh, this crab has four identical legs, which means most of the folds we're going to be do doing throughout this model are going to be very repetitive. Um, so it makes this model a lot easier to fold because it's, it's just doing the same thing over and over again. So I just thought I'd point that out. And uh, yeah, so let's keep folding.
Okay, so once you've done that to the four sides, yours should look exactly like this. If it doesn't, then uh, you should probably rewind the video and see what you've done wrong. Um, what we're going to do now is flip this towards the left. We're going to flip over the piece of paper and flip this part towards the right. So this is what yours is supposed to look like with these little flappy things on the top. So if that's what yours looks like, then you're on the right track. All right, cool. So now the next step, fold this right corner towards the middle crease and make sure that this top edge right here aligns with the middle crease. So let's go ahead and do that. Once it's nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the left side. Okay, so once we fold this left side down, obviously we're going to go ahead and crease it. We're going to open these two flaps back up. And this next step is called the pedal fold. So you want to open this section up and you want to reverse fold both of these creases we just created. So we do that to the right and we're going to do the same thing to this left side. So you want to open it up, reverse fold the top. And now what you want to do is you want this middle crease uh, to line up all the way towards the bottom. So you see how I'm slowly putting it together? Just like that, see? So that's what yours should look like. And this right here is called the pedal fold. Okay, so once you've completed your pedal fold, make sure to crease everything nicely. Okay, so now we're going to fold this little flap downwards, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and flip the piece of paper over and do the same exact thing to this side. So let's go ahead and create this pedal fold. All right, and to complete our pedal fold, let's go ahead and open these up and do the same thing we did to the back side. So once you've completed that pedal fold, let's go ahead and flip this towards the left, just like that. Okay, so once you're done with that, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and flip over this piece of paper and go ahead and flip this towards the left, just like that. So now yours should look just like this with these two little flaps and the back should look just like that. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing we did earlier. We're going to go ahead and create a pedal fold on this side. And once we do that, we're going to go ahead and flip it over and do the same exact thing to the other side. Like I warned you guys earlier, we're going to be repeating the same steps over and over again. So like I said, it's really easy to fold this crab. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll move on to the next steps. All right, so once you're done with this side, let's put that flap down. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over and do the same exact pedal fold on this side. Okay, so let's bring this back down. And once you've done that, yours should look just like this. It should have two flaps on each side. Okay, so now let's move on to the next step. Let's go ahead and flip this part right here towards the left. And what we wanna do now is fold this corner towards the middle crease so that this edge right here lines up with the middle crease. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So make sure to align it nicely. Remember that aligning everything as perfect as you can is very important when it comes to origami. So let's go ahead and crease this down. And let's do the same exact thing to the left side. So this corner towards the middle crease so that this edge lines up with the middle crease. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you've done that, let's go ahead and flip this piece of paper over and you'll notice you're on the right side if you have this little flap right here. See, this little tiny flap. So now I want you to, guys to flip the page towards the left just like that. And let's go ahead and do the same exact thing we did to the back. Let's go ahead and do it to this side. So let's align these two edges together and then we'll do the same thing to the left. Okay, so now that we've done that to both sides, what I want you guys to do is open this little section up just like that and do the same thing to the left, open it up, and then just close them in slowly, just like that. So we'll do that to that side, same thing to this side. Okay, so once yours looks like this, then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so now we wanna fold this corner towards the middle crease so that this top edge right here lines up with the middle crease. So make sure they align nicely. Once they do, we're gonna go ahead and crease it down. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing to the left side. Once you do that, I want you to go ahead and flip it over and do the same steps we did on this side to the back. Okay, so now let's flip it over and repeat the same steps. Okay, so now we're gonna flip this part towards the left. Now we're gonna flip over the piece of paper and flip this one towards the right. So once you've done that, this is what yours should look like. Two flaps on each side. So if yours looks like this, then you're doing a good job. So let's go ahead and continue to the next step. Okay, now what you wanna do is open this little section up right, right here. What you want to do is fold this top area down so that it forms like a V shape. So you're going to push the middle part down just like that. You see that V shape? And then just crease it down just like that, at a, just slightly at an angle. So let me repeat the steps so you can see. You want to push this down and then just crease it. So once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and do it to the other side. So let's get this little section right here <clears throat> and do the same exact thing. So what we're gonna try to do is go ahead and fold it down and try to align it as good as we can with the one we just creased down. So once you get them both aligned, you're gonna crease it down just like that. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna open this little section up just like that and push these down so there's a leg on each side and let's go ahead and do the same thing to these two. So we're gonna fold this down and make sure it aligns with this other one right here next to it. So you're gonna fold it down, align it with this guy, and then crease it down. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the left side. Okay, once it's nicely creased down, this is what yours should look like. Okay, so if yours looks like this, let's go on to the next step. So what you wanna do is you wanna fold this leg right here. You wanna fold it right down the middle. So 
what you want to do is open it up and fold it towards the top. Same thing, so it creates like a little V shape. And you want to do it slightly at an angle, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to open it up so you can see exactly what it's supposed to look like. See, just like that. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and do the same exact thing to this leg and match it up and try to, you know, align it so that they're both exactly in the same position. I mean, if you want, you could go ahead and do it differently, but uh, this is the way uh, I was taught to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and teach you guys that way. Okay, so once you've aligned them, what I want you guys to do is split the legs open, just like we did before. Push these down and go ahead and align both legs with the one next to them. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to this leg and align it. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other leg. All right, so once they're aligned and you creased them up, uh, we're gonna go ahead and set the design down on the table so it's laying flat. And we're gonna, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna fold this corner right here towards this top middle crease. So let's go ahead and do that and make sure to create a nice crease on there because there's a lot of layers of paper. Uh, so create a nice crease and now I want you to shove this tip right here towards the inside of this little pocket. So let's go ahead and put it in there just like that. Okay. So once you've done that, what I want you to do is I want you guys to split this part open right here and shove your index finger to the top. And then with your other index finger, I want you to push down on this little top part right here. That way we could give some shape to the head of the crab. So same thing here, we're gonna shove our index finger straight down the middle and with our other one, we're gonna go ahead and shape it a little bit. There we go. So I'm gonna shape, I'm gonna open these legs up a little bit and probably reshape the legs. I feel like they're a little too, uh, too straight. So I'm gonna open them up a little more. There we go, just like that. Cool. So there you have it, guys. There's your origami crab. I hope you guys had fun. I hope yours turned out great. And guys, do not forget to subscribe, like, and fold. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.